Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Quick Poetry Knowledge. Yesterday, I uploaded the explanation of William Butler Eats's poem, When You Are Old. Today, I am going to narrate the summary of this poem. The Irish poet William Butler Eats addresses his beloved Maud Gunn, who has never reciprocated his feelings of love and admiration for her. He refers to a point of time in her future and says that in her old age, when she is tired and lonely and does not have any admirer to shower her with attention, she might regret that she had neglected the poet's love for her and had avoided giving their relationship a chance. However, by that time it would be too late because the poet would have been dead and his soul would have united with the stars. In the first stanza, the poet says that in her old age, when his lady love would be nodding her head by the fireside with her hair having turned grey, she should take down this collection of poems that the poet had composed in praise of her beauty and she should also start reading the lines of the poems there. His poetry would remind her of the tender looks that she had been blessed with in her youth. She would also be reminded of the shadows underneath her eyes. There were many men who had been smitten by the graceful movements of her body. She would be reminded of her share of both fake and genuine admirers. However, only one man loved the spiritual aspect of her soul and, and had loved her not just because of her physical beauty, but because of her personality, her thoughts and feelings. This man had loved the way the expressions on her face changed with the shift in her emotions. In other words, the poet is referring to himself. In her old age, when the beloved would stoop to pick up a log of wood to add to the fire, she would find herself murmuring soft regrets that she had neglected a devoted admirer and had not given pure love a chance. By that time, the possibilities of love would be totally gone from her life because the poet himself would be dead and his soul would be united with the stars in the night sky. Well, that's all for today. I hope you have understood what this poem is all about. Consider subscribing if you love this type of content. Meet you again very soon. Bye.